Kamensky takes the long neutral zone feed. Gets into Kootenai territory. Pulls up there. Takes it back to the point. Hooks a backhand feed for Sean Montgomery. He'll tip it around the net to Cadlick, but the return pass is picked off. Keenan Taphorn just sidesteps a check from Pavarint in the center ice area. Now we got a fight. Max Patterson jumped Pavarint, who got a good shot in. Patterson still throwing, hitting Pavarint in the back of the helmet for the most part. These are two big boys, and Pavarinta gets wrestled to the ice. Well, there's no doubt that Patterson is the aggressor on this one as he comes at Pavarinta after Pavarinta was going to step into top Taphorn, and Taphorn just kind of sidestepped him, but I think uh, I think we had Patterson who felt that uh, Pavarinta was taking a run at Taphorn, and he, jumps, uh, he jumped Cody Pavarinta, so we'll... See if there isn't an extra two minutes coming up on on the board for Patterson. And it looks like it's just going to be five minutes each. So a bit of a bit of a missed call there by the officials. And that'll bring the faceoff back into the Prince Albert zone. The stage was set by the Colby Johnson hit in the first period, and unfortunately Ryan Pouliot hasn't returned as as he staggered off the ice. It took him a long time to get. And he needed actually assistance to get off the ice into the Kootenai dressing room. Yeah, he certainly did. And, uh, you know, there's no doubt uh, Pouliot is done for the night. And